Hey Mummy Brainers! Today we are sitting in front of my Christmas tree because I'm going to be going through Ty's stocking and this idea was given to me by Sierra so thank you. Um, I have his stocking right here and the actual stocking I got last year at the Christmas tree shop um, I think for like $10 to $15 somewhere in that range um, and today I wanted to show you um, what's inside. Everything in here is either from Walmart or the dollar store and everything um, minus the stocking comes to a total of about $20 um, and it's just a lot of odds and ends and you know normal stocking stuff or stuff for my 18 month old son so let's get started um, this is obviously pre stock this is not going to be um, hanging up right now but I thought I'd stuff it to kind of give a better effect it looks really good it's pretty cool um, so right at the top, we have a little stuffy. I love putting little stuffies in stockings at the top. I think it finishes it all off very well, um, and they're so cute, and who doesn't love a little cute, cuddly penguin from the dollar store? And we have a giant peppermint stick. Now, obviously, my 18-month-old is not going to eat, I mean, even 10% of this, um, but I love how just crazy it is to have a huge... A huge candy cane in your stocking on Christmas morning and being like whoa that's a huge candy cane <laughs> so candy cane um I have the little you know the oh, there we go the little flashing light up dinosaur um I do have a toothbrush now this is out of the package because it came in a two pack and he needed one like the day I bought it so this is just one to kind of put away and save for when he needs it um I have a little a monster truck um, I think this is one where you pull it back and it goes forward. I have a sleeve of stickers. This could be a dangerous idea, but I know he likes stickers, so I got these for him. Next, I have two different colors of, um, of bathtub finger paint. These are a Walmart purchase, and I think he'll have a lot of fun with them, I hope. <laughs> um, and then I have this kind of flashy monster thing? I don't know. But it's cute. I know he'll like it. He actually was with me when I bought it and wanted to play with it. I'm so <laughs> Then I have this magic washcloth, which will expand when it hits water, so I think he'll be fascinated by this. Lots of bath time stuff. <laughs> Next I have, because I didn't want to put a lot of sugar, you know, too much sugar anyway in here, too much candy that is, I did put this Nutella to go, um, snack pack. Next I have, actually I have two little race cars. I did take them out of the packaging just to make it a little bit easier. He doesn't have any just like this, so I just got two little um, Hot Wheels for him. Let's try and think of the brand. And then the thing he really needed, which I knew would fit in the stocking nicely, is a water bottle. So this one does have characters on it, and I'm not a big fan of that, but it's really easy to open like this. Um, he's good with cups like this, and it's time for him to kind of sort of get away from the sippy cups, so this was a good stocking stuffer for him. Um, I have a little tiger. He likes little animals like that. Um, and then the oh-so-practical band-aids. I decided to get him a pack of band-aids, and these are fun dinosaur ones. And then at the very bottom as you should put in any stocking is an orange. So an orange will be at the bottom. This isn't the exact one, of course, but I had it, so I put it in the bottom. It rounds out the toe really nicely, and it kind of adds a fresh, healthy snack to the bottom of your stocking, and it's um, you know, much better for you than sugar. <laughs> so there we have it. That's Thai stocking and stocking stuffers. Thank you for the idea, Sierra, and I look forward to seeing your next video and seeing you guys all in the future. See you later. Bye.